So at this point, let's go back to our Mars IDE, do some further experiment with the load upper immediate and also with some some of this uh, move statement. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, this two first two statement. Let's do that. Okay, and so what it is doing in I'm moving of pattern one to a b into t5, which is like 16 bit pattern. It will becomes like lower of 16 bit, and load upper immediate. I'm I'll loading. 50 a5 to the upper half of the register but remember this name is kind of misleading it says that load upper immediate which kind of kind of convert is probably not going to touch the lower half of the register but in fact it does it loads the upper half with that bit pattern 16 bit pattern which we are passing it to it but and also it reset the lower half of that register so let's assemble it so do we have that? Yes, at this point. So let me put a breakpoint around and it came here. So we do a step. So the T5 become lower half become 1 to AB. That's what we we wanted to do. And then load up our immediate. Observe this T5 change. See it changes the upper bits to 50AF but lower bits also reset it to zeros. Okay, lower 16 bit reset to zero. So that's what we uh, we are trying to observe and understand. The other part we wanted to understand this move statement. Okay, and also like uh, some big numbers, like load immediate, some negative numbers, and so on and so forth. So let's do that as well. So we assemble and where is my new two things here? Louis and move. So first of all look at this move, what it changed to. This is line number 40 or I should say instruction 40 is it's changed to add unsigned 18 register number 18 which is which is T5 dollar zero which is the zero constant uh, no I take it dollar 18 is S2 that's where we are moving the data and dollar 13 is your T5 okay so so what it is doing it adding the content of register 13 which is register T5 with register zero and Put, a, put the value, it's putting the value onto register S2. That's what the move does. Okay. Also look at the LI, it does, it also involves $0, right? It's $31. So it is adding immediate unsigned, my unsigned bit pattern, load this immediate bit pattern on the LI with the $0 and result is being stored into $31 in the, for the this line 35 instruction so you see like dollar zero is frequently used also by the assemblers to convert pseudo instructions into some basic instructions because it's all about like adding something with zero and so on and so forth so so zero has been given a very special position in MIPS for not to override this value it's remain constant in this inside the processor all right, so let's look at this run. So move S2 to T5, which is T5 is now at this point. This value, 50AF000, go one more step. Is the same value co is copied into S2 by the move. Though the inst instruction name is move, it apparently to move the value from one register to another, it is really copy the value from one register to another. I'm not sure why they want to call it a move. Uh, it could be a copy, uh, but I think that's like whoever is developed this uh, assembler is their preference. Okay, if I would have designed it, I probably would make it a copy instruction instead of move. Uh, 
well there can be other reason as well now the next one is load upper Im uh, load immediate value right load immediate value s1 which is 3 4 e8 okay uh, that's good so we are loading this hex into uh, the s1 uh, but let's see how this register if we kind of pass a big values so we what we want to do maybe may not be this instruction maybe uh, maybe uh, these instructions the move instruction we want to see if there is a big value uh, associated with this how it goes okay now let's see how this load immediate works we have already seen it is in uh, translated into basic instruction add immediate unsigned for this uh, specific pattern and we'll see uh, that will be uh, that will be reflected there so it's 3 4 e8 is done there but question is does it always translate into add iu is there something else okay uh, so let's see let's uh, let's change the try to change the value a little bit like for example uh, i want to do some negative number okay like which is like let's say f f f f uh, okay one okay two three four five so four and four okay so remember in two's complement form anything with the leading ones series of one is a negative number and i made sure this negative number has some values beyond 16 bit okay, beyond 16 bit uh, so it is a very large negative number in terms of in, if you uh, if you convert into the decimal format you will see it's a very large negative number so let's see how assembler handles this part so let's go okay look at this now so all my li in our previous value also with li on this line on instruction 41 it's basically added add i u but now since it is a very huge negative number it broken down into two basic instruction one is using load upper immediate involving your uh, at as some that temporary operation so this is my that part right so i will just break before this instruction for this experiment so anyway so first it involves a load upper immediate a very huge value okay uh, with almost every bit is is f except for the last one which is like 0001 i believe yeah this is the one and then or this assembler temporary with this immediate or immediate or i is a logical or operation bitwise i don't say logical bitwise or operation with the immediate value given as 0 cross 0 0 0 0 2 3 4 5 okay so apparently we are loading upper immediate value of uh, uh, upper immediate with f f f 1 okay and lower part we are oring it with rest of the bit pattern two three four five so first we are loading the upper half of the s1 with fff1 and then or immediate onto the the same register or the lower half bit pattern so that it can kind of get inserted into it so let's look at that so still here we came and the next instruction it uh, came here s2 was changed okay from this okay and then next instruction see the 80 is changed and and fff1 has been placed into the upper half of the assembler temporary register and next one or i will take this and my immediate bit pattern 243 which will give me fff1 
two, three, four. So the point here is number one is one pseudo instruction is not guaranteed to be translated same way for every different cases. There will be depends on what type of values, what registers, etc., etc. Uh, you are using through that pseudo instruction as in the decide how to translate it back through the basic instruction. Okay, that is number one. Number two, the second one, this this technique of or I, like putting something onto the upper half of the register and then or it back, it's kind of giving you a idea of how to do something like a load word immediate. Instead of load upper immediate, I want to do a load word immediate and we can do it like this. Okay, load word immediate so that we upper half we place it first and lower part, lower 16 bit, we or it back. Okay, so Okay, we'll do that as in programming assignment. I think one of the programming assignment has that to construct a macro LWI which takes three argument like a register target register and upper 16 bit bit pattern and lower 16 bit bit pattern and inside the macro it need to combine these two bit pattern upper and lower bit pattern into 32 bit pattern and set it onto that register. So this is the way you can do it. First, the higher bit pattern, use the Louis instruction, load it into upper half, and then lower part, you or immediate into it. Okay, so that's the second point to note in this experiment.